We know we're closing an office building and opening a new one, and we need to know how big the new one will be. We might think that it should be about as big as the old one was, but we would want to ask some questions to test our assumptions and explore alternatives. For example, we might want to know if the company is growing or downsizing. If it is growing or expects to grow, then it may need extra office space right away or expect to need extra office space at some point in the future. If the company's or the business is shrinking, then it may not need as much space. Note that here, when we're talking about a shrinking workforce, we mean that there are fewer workers and not smaller workers. Although, if the workers were really tiny, they might need less space, but that's kind of another issue. Now, suppose that the number of people working for the organization will be about the same before and after the move. Does that mean that the number of people working in offices will be about the same? Maybe, but maybe not. If more workers are telecommuting, then the new office building would not need offices for those telecommuters, and therefore could be smaller. On the other hand, if the company is getting tighter about telecommuting, and insists that everyone works in the office, then that new building would be bigger, it would need to be bigger, to accommodate those workers who used to work from home. Okay, suppose that everyone who used to work in the old building will continue to work for the organization, and suppose that everyone who used to work in an office will continue to work in an office. Is there any other way to save space and have a smaller building? Well, you might have the same number of people, but that doesn't mean that you need the same amount of space if you could find a way to decrease the average amount of space that each worker gets. So if the offices or cubicles or holding pens or whatever are getting smaller, then you could fit more people into the same space. Or you could fit the same number of people into less space. Of course, it's also possible that this could happen the other way too. If the average space per worker increased, say because the offices or cubicles got bigger, then you would need more space for the same number of people.